you're uh kind of choppy. It might be Discord issues. Yeah, because you guys fine. all sound fine to me. But uh, I'm sounding choppy to everyone else. Mm -hmm. You sound fine like, to me, actually. There are like momentary stutters or lags. Like, uh, it's almost like the internet cuts out for a fraction of a second. But it doesn't really break your speech. Well, that is interesting. Be connected to a very strange location, and I think that was making everything work very poorly. It has improved, so yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit choppy, but much better. I mean, I don't, I don't hear it anymore. You win some, you lose some. Okay, so uh, the brood mothers are called in. The begin to swell with fury as they roll into initiative. And then in, so we're going into round, I believe it's round six. Uh, it says round five. It is Angus who's the first to act. Hello. Uh, I am still raging, uh, and I'm going to beat the living uh, shit out of Caliban. Potentially, yes. Um, I am going to... Hey, you brought back the chat initiative mod. I don't believe... Um... Oh, that's cool. I don't believe I had advantage or anything like that. Uh, so just to, right. just to um, add injury to insult, I'm going to make this reckless. I'm going to uh, lay the beat down with my first attack being Estor's Savage Shield. There we go. And then, come on. Why aren't you working? Uh, I, I, you just rolled like four of them. Ah, I'm so sorry. It's not showing on my screen. Interesting. I'm going to reload. Yeah, you yeah, rolled a 12, and then a 25, and then a, a nat 1, and then a 20. Okay, well, um, the 12 should be... So I'm going to delete the 1, 2, 3, and that should have been an advantage anyway. <clears throat> wow, it's just messed up for me. I don't see anything. Pretty sure I'm not an easy target anymore. That was like a one-time thing. Interesting. Uh, what was my um my advantage? Because I don't see the advantage. I saw a die roll, but I don't see a result. I don't either. Um, there it is. 16. Uh, 16 will hit. Uh, dealing uh, nine points of damage. What does it apply? Is a magical effect? weapon, so it deals full damage to Caliban. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to use my offhand uh, to attack as well. Okay. Which I just I'm just not see. It's just really slow for me. Interesting. Um, Got a twenty-one for five damage. 21 for 5 damage, probably half damage because of magic. Uh, and then uh, bonus action, my rage, which I will just show you, reapply the wild surge real quick um, as soon as it loads up for me, which it's taking a very long time to do so. I don't know why. Uh, try switching browsers. Sometimes the browser just hates the game that day. Wait, which browser are you using? I'm I'm using uh, Foundry or um, Forge. 
Which oh, browser? Browser like Chrome, Edge, Firefox. I'm using um. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using Brave. That that should be a pretty good one. Oh well, it did something when I refreshed just now. Okay, so uh, what my last one was uh eight. So um, this guy needs to succeed on a Constitution saving throw or take a one d six. And be blinded until yeah. the start of your next turn. All righty, so here we go. I'm imagining that uh, hilarious homebrew magical girl barbarian with a 14 level feature. You just go pew and shoot, uh, shoot them with a brilliant like magical girl beam. Yeah, just well, uh, that does not save. So he takes three points of damage and is blinded. Absolutely. He grabs at his eyes as you have uh, dealt him damage. And oh, man, oh, man. I'm going to look at the two of them uh, and I'm going to say... I don't know if Alakir can handle it all by himself, so I'm going to go, and I'm going to run over to Alakir. Absolutely. We got this, sorry bastard! And I'm going to defend Alakir as best as I can. Uh, actually, I have five feet left of movement. I'm going to just move right there. Really, a really bad idea, but that's what I'm doing. That's okay. a really good idea. Only one of them can hit you at a time, then. Oh, then. I, I stand here. And that is my turn. Okay. Sounds good. All righty. Uh, yeah, we'll the have homeless troglodyte brood mother slithers through as she squeezes her body up against the opening here. Pustules busting with pus. As she targets Angus. Ew. Angus, this would be at advantage because you attacked recklessly. Let me just make sure my ready, set, roll is ready to do that. It should be. All right. The brood mother holds up her gigantic baby rattle. No, I'm just kidding. It's a stone hammer as she goes to attack you with her brutal assaults. Let me die. Oh, it's not wanting to roll. Give me one moment. I will fix that so that it does. Alrighty. Let's try that again. Since updating to version 10 is not wanted to do my cool math for stuff. Give me one second. Sorry, everyone, for the technical difficulties here. No worries. Boundary 10. Is rolling back an option if it ends up being too much? Yes, I already backed up the world. Okay, here we go. Is it possible to have a one world on one version and another world on another? No. Wow, so... That would hit. That would not hit. Yeah. So her at advantage attack was a. Jeez, twenty four. Holy but shit! You are able to duck your head out of the way just in time as her weapon <laughs> makes contact with the wall. Wait, is that bad. right? Just straight up twenty four damage. Yep. Damn. So uh, Basically, the dead she condition. will move to here as she squiggles, <laughs> covering you with pustules of uh, grossness. Gross. And then she moves to here. Uh-oh. The from you. king is up. Uh, the king is blinded uh, until the start of your next turn. Uh, the king will recover his Paragon actions. He will use his action this turn. Oh, hold on. To 
summon a metamorphosis. He holds his hand up to the skies as black tendrils of energy spread from his fingertips around the corner past Angus and into the room with the broodlings. You hear squeals of pain as they begin to grow and grow as four of his broodlings become drudges. So, uh, Angus, you see this terrible uh, metamorphosis before your very eye as these creatures. Oh. I thought that would be more useful. I will just drag out freshies. Uh, change and metamorph. Their skin stretches. Their bones pop. The pus ellipses itself out of their mouths as they look hungrily toward you. And I will roll them into initiative. Uh, the king then... So, his Master of a Tactics ability, you can use the help action as bonus action. We use the help action to aid an ally in attacking creature. Target the attack can be within 30 feet of you rather than within 5 if the target can see or hear you. Uh, so, he will yell out orders. Uh, his As a Master of Tactics, he will yell out those onto Angus. All right, that was action and bonus action. Redvern, you are up. It's not an advantage on these attacks because he's blinded, right? That is correct. I'm going to claw him one. I'm just going to roll again see if I get... I was gonna roll again and see if I get crit because that was not that was not uh no. All right, he's blinded. Yeah, no. All okay. right, so the twenty four for five. And should I just use that as my second roll, or should I just roll again? Uh, don't you have an attack? Uh, I can use the attack as a bonus action for that clause. That is fine. Oh, two, uh, two calls attack. So uh, should I just use that as my second attack? Yeah, that's fine with me. Uh, I'm just going to press the thing again once to roll initiative to see if I can get a 20, 10, 20, 4 into a crit. Oh, no. Not a crit. Well, crit failure. It's not a crit success. But so, yeah, 5 and, and 10, so 15 total. Oh, wait, the bonus action one applies mod two? Damn. Yeah, it says nothing about it not, so I would imagine it does at least. First you violate biology, then you violate the action economy! Wait, say uh, that again? Uh, it's a oh, bonus uh, action feature, so it doesn't remove mod. Yeah, uh, it, it just says nothing about mod as a bonus action, so I imagine it just keeps the mod as a damage effect. I mean, it's, it's a bonus action attack because it doesn't say anything about not having the ability score mod, so I imagine it keeps that, right? It's technically not dual wielding. Yeah. Right. Okay, so One of those anything else for like Redfern? So I didn't quite hear that, what? Anything else for Redvern? Nope, she just gonna claw him twice and do fifteen damage, I guess. Damage is damage. Excellent. Sorry, I had to fix our stream. Our stream was not working. Okay. Mm. Alukir, as your turn comes up, the king. He is going to use his paragon action. And he is going to command. 
he is going to command the brood mother as she turns not that way this way <laughs> towards you no Elkir's eyes are full of despair. <laughs> oh. And strong in the face of adversity! Absolutely. As she I'm opens her mouth fear. wide as she goes to bite you. Um? This is a flat hmm. roll. She does not have advantage. Well, it doesn't. <laughs> so, that, I know Wait, that's, that's a zero, but uh, that should say 12. For the crit. All right, so it's twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! And I'm down. Um, no, no, I'm gonna catch some of that. Well, <laughs> roll well, is all I can say. Hey, minus ten. Okay, so that will be fourteen. Ouch! I'm standing. <laughs> uh. And yeah, after she takes a bite doctor. out of Alakir, uh, Marceline uses her magic. Then Alakir, it is your turn. Oh, wow. I like the... Oh, Jesus. This effect around the screen is something else. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I installed a mod called Heartbeat. If you guys think it is the... like annoying or it's like too much, just let me know. It's horrifying. <laughs> anyway... Um, so having just seen basically all of his life flash be before his eyes, uh, Alkir will... I mean, he's about to go down if nothing happens. Well, first of all, I'm going to down a potion of healing <laughs> as a bonus section, just with, with the trembling hands. Okay, I'll take it. Um... Well, maybe for you, Marceline. The rest of us are kind of like living. That just echoes in the back of your head from the telepathic connection. Oh, now you can talk in my head. For one round. Awesome. That's what. Uh, that's part of pain split. Oh, cool. Well, now he's even more horrified. <laughs> um, okay, that's bonus action. What on earth can he even do? Hmm. Oh, so am, am I saying that right that only a couple of the broodlings turned into full on drudges? Correct. Uh you, you saw that four of them went through this metamorphosis. Okay. Well if I would if I would try to no, it's not gonna work. Never mind. Uh, I think I'm going to just try to. Uh, fuck. Oh wait a minute! I did my math wrong. Did we do? This is so bad. You. There we go. Didn't subtract from my temp HP first. I'm sorry. It's just uh... screw this. I'm gonna cast um, Bane on all of the free brood, brood mothers that I see. So I'll here brings up um, a dagger and makes a cut on his uh, makes a cut on his uh, hand and just uh, says a few words and flops his hand in the air and his blood just goes flying and sticks uh, to all the three brood mothers magically and they need to do some charisma saves and last one here okay third one flubs it and is Bane are they supposed to be hidden? privately oh sorry I will reveal Damn! Seems about right for my luck. Uh, okay. And that will be almost all of it. I'll just shift a little bit to the to south and 
that is my turn. I'll raise my shield and hopefully... What do you think this is, Pathfinder? Oh, and Alakir, this broodmother has used her reaction, if that changes your plan. Um... I mean, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die if I stay here. So I'm gonna run away. Oh, Alakir, um, I got this. Actually, I think. Hold on, would I even be able to do that? If I go five, ten, fifteen. Hmm. Okay, so let's slightly retcon that by saying that I went basically one, two, three, and. Four. Four, and that's it. I'm gonna stand here. No problem. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, the king will go ahead and use a paragon for checkmate. And he says, Sickened? Move into position, please. Come, help me. You named your concubine Sickened? Yes. Y'all will be interested what I name your skull. And it's your turn. Not if I cleave yours off of your shoulders. Stop it! We will see, insect. That should be an advantage. Yeah, let me just... Yeah, you guys can uh, set that on client side if you go to that ready, set, roll, and it will always roll two dice. You also press shift on over it to click roll advantage. I, I found that out because shift is my press to talk, and I pressed it by accident, so. That is true. Anyway, chop it for seven damage. Uh, seven damage? It takes it. Mortal reminder! All right, the king will attempt a wisdom saving throw. All right, he, he fails, so he gains the frightened until the end of your next turn. So he's blighten, he's blinded and frightened. Dark shadows whisper to you, don't they? And I use a bonus action to move chicken over here and tell it to guard the hallway where it will dodge. And that is my turn. Okay, the king will go ahead as his final paragon action. As you frightened him, he... And he just vomits. Hey, I frightened him, not sickened him. Uh. A oh God. bunch of acid against Marceline and Angus. This is a Ugh. dexterity save against 12 points of acid damage. Uh, would, would it be arguable to say that Angus has half cover? Because of that, that wall? Uh, Angus this isn't a... uh, saved. Yeah, and I think I have advantage oh, on that anyway matter. because it's a dex save. Danger sense, right? Mm-hmm. Right, right. So uh, uh, half cover would do extra. But doesn't matter. A single point. <laughs> do, 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 dexterity... Disgusting! Yep, so you guys would save, taking only six acid damage. Oh. Getting colder and darker as my death is near. Yeah, okay. I'm about to die. It's gonna be great. The sickened troglodyte broodmother will go. Oh, uh, let me put his paragons down to zero. Uh, Angus was reckless last turn. Yeah. Okay, so she is going to hit you, try to hit you with this because it is at advantage. No, nope. oh, uh, sixteen won't hit because you have a nineteen AC. But the, mm -hmm. uh, she was going to attempt to grab you and start dragging you into somewhere. Did you just like set them to do flat damage compared to the arrays? Just curious. That is correct. Hmm. This is the first time I've seen someone do that. Neat. Yep. So uh, her grappling fist misses Angus, um, but she will continue to move. 
So let's see here. Uh, she'll move through her ally to here. And uh, you can uh, do an attack of opportunity, Angus, as the broodmother leaves your square. I am going to do that, and it is supposed to be at advantage because uh, I was reckless. Oh, wait, there was a way around that thing. I commanded so, the chicken to block uh, Angus, the hallway. If you read uh, reckless, boop, boop. Just so that. Uh, Oh, gives sure. you uh, advantage on your turn. This is technically not on your turn. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I still hit with the 25. Yep. Okay. Okay, so the broodmother moves down to behind Marceline. Chatty, the chattiest of the Cathiests, will start moving in. They can't quite get into a flanking position, unfortunately enough. But they will get to this position. Thankfully, most of you guys... Actually, all of you are immune to the stinky. Although the air is probably getting very rancid in here. Absolutely. Uh, Angus, this chatty troglodyte broodmother is approaching... Hello. With what appears to be uh, ill intent. Uh, this will be an attack at advantage as they go for their once per day brutal assault. Uh, that is a uh, 19 for 24 that points of just slash. hits. So that's half damage. I think I'm down. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm holding on for dear life. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, that ends the round, and now I will roll the drudges into initiative. And we will go into round number six. Angus, you see the blood from your wounds are, is kind of rolling down your face into your snout. You see that there oh. are many more troglodytes than before. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, bonus action. I will use a potion of healing. Do that. Get the shit. Um, and I will target uh, this one. Actually, I'm going to target this one that actually hit me. I'm going to smack it with Esther's shield and miss. And then my offhand, which hits for five flat or yep. three damage. Uh, it should be three because it doesn't have modifier. Uh, it's, it is flat, but it's adding your rage. Ah, oh, that's right. Get yeah. I forgot about my wage. Shit. I forgot about my wage. Um, I mean, yeah. What else, what else am I gonna do? That is my turn. I just look back, very, very concerned. Yes, the troglodytes are starting to roil over you like boiling water. The homeless troglodyte broodmother. Your B team members are in their own fights with troglodytes at the moment uh she sees this annoying chicken in front of her she will be the reckless not the chicken and she, she will, will be hit the it with a claw thankfully oh. the chicken is dodging that might not matter much but it is give me one moment i just have to fix the math on this do, do, do. Yeah, it's uh, for some reason the math that I was using to calculate their damage was not happy here in V10. Oh, uh, oh, she misses. The chicken but... dodges. So she tried to crush the chicken, but the chicken uh, dodged out of the way because dodging. 
just so we remember that it's dodging. Uh, that is her action. Okay. Uh, so he is no longer blind. So he will use his action to take the disengage. And he will begin to move this direction. Can't. That's moving closer to me. Oh, that's true, because he's frightened. Unless he can teleport, which he can't. Out! There he! Let me reset. So he disengages as his action, and he begins to move away to here. Then as his bonus action, he will use... Okay, he got his acid breath back. His master of tactics. Uh, yeah, Marceline's within 30 feet. So the sickened troglodyte broodmother will get advantage on her. He'll say, you have done well so far. But you are quickly becoming outnumbered. Maybe you should surrender now. All I see around me is fear and dead men. He says, hmm. Maybe some more lessons are needed to be taught. Okay. Uh, the suppressive troglodyte drudge will act. It rushes forward uh, towards Angus. Yeah. Angus was not reckless, so this is just a raw attack here as it does a claw. Oh, and I'm going to have to, like, fix all of these guys' attacks. Hold on. I'm just going to roll this. Okay, At so an 11 misses. The static shape was removed in Season 7. So you're able to avoid its damage. Okay, as it goes to pass to Redfern. Redfern the king... Is going to use a paragon. He is going to use his commander. And he is going to command the sickened troglodyte broodmother to make an attack upon Marceline. This is an attack at advantage. Anything, let me just. Uh... Ah, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, that hit me. Okay, so okay. this would be for four damage, and you're grappled by her. As you feel her meaty mom arms grab you by the shoulder. This right. is the interruption. Should I re-roll my, my Dragon Breath Recharge? Uh, didn't you just roll it? I just know if the re if the interruption would mean I had to reroll it or not. I guess not. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the captain for now and just go right here and attack this chocolate like broodmother because honestly we need. Was she reckless? I forget. She was she she was yeah. reckless. Was that thing thing of the other one? Okay, I was gonna claw attack this one twice. Sure. Okay, a 14 and a 16 will hit. Four, 15 five. damage again somehow. And 10. The creature is bloodied. The creature did gain its reaction back. So as you have damaged it... Sorry, it's like a one reaction. Boop. Give me one moment, just fixing the thing as it uses its vicious reprisal upon you but uh, an 11 will miss and misses 
Okay, Alukir, you see that your allies are doing battle with these creatures. The Troglodyte King is going to spin um, a Paragon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because he likes to do that kind of junky stuff as he targets Redfern and he shoots an energy beam at Redfern. Uh, that's a 23 to hit Redfern because of fear. That hit. That hits. Okay, so you'll take 6 damage. And you can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn. Okay. Alakir, you're up. Alright. Um, I'm going to move... Just to get an eye on Angus. And I'm going to shout, I got you, Angus. Stay strong. Hey. Um, no. I need to live. <laughs> that would be preferable. I'm going to take a deep breath and use my healing surge. Very nice. So that will be one. And two. That's pretty good. Okay, feeling a little better. And actually, oh, I think I know what it was. Okay, and now I have just a bonus action left. So, could I try to? Um speak to the brood mothers as a bonus action basically try to um, influence them so speak <laughs> or would uh, that be too much uh typically if you're going to do a, a an action such as that on your turn it would take your action unless you have a class ability that would allow you to do this do so okay in that case i'm going to just um, move in the corner <laughs> and prepare for whatever comes next. Okay, I love it. All right, uh, you know, this guy's got one left, so he is going to use his checkmate ability as his final paragon action. as he is going to move the chatty troglodyte mother to here. Okay, uh, the grumbling troglodyte grud drudge. Uh, Angus, you are quickly becoming the doom guy as you are qu quickly getting swarmed over by all of these creatures. They are all over you. Fun. Absolutely fun. Uh, so the creature is going to attempt to do this. Uh, we'll see if it works. As a bonus action. Uh, it is On going the right to try side, to, they can't break it. It's there. It's going to try to overrun your space, Angus. Okay. Uh, so the creature's going to attempt an athletics check. Contested by the hostile creature, which is you, is an athletics check. Uh, okay. If it wins, it gets to move through your square. I believe I would have advantage on this, right? Because you Angie. Yeah. Well, you're... not not just yeah, not just that. I'm also a size larger than this creature, right? Uh, you are a medium creature, and it's a medium creature. Uh, I keep forgetting that. Okay. Uh, so athletics check. Yep, which I don't think that you can fail because <laughs> it rolled a seven. <laughs> never say never. Did I roll? Or the angie? It did roll. Okay, just can't see it. Yeah, yeah. So it tries to run through your square, and it is unable to. It did not roll an advantage. Let me roll that advantage, and it does not work. Still, how rude. 
So it'll use its action. It's going to try to claw at this annoying chicken because I want to try to kill this chicken with one of these troglodytes. Oh! Use it, bot, why? I was trying to... My music bot is not playing for me. Give me just a moment. There we go. Yeah, I don't hear it. Give me Here just now. a second. Now I don't. Uh, I just disconnected it. I hear it now. Sorry, everyone, for, I don't. The, for the slight... Uh, now I hear it. Technical issues tonight. There we go. Mm -hmm. Will Calvin fare better than Caleb? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Unless it's a really, really tough motor development exam. Then we'll see. Caleb survive. Calvin survives! Yes, by the skin of his chinny chin chin. Okay, that was grumbling troglodyte drudge. Marceline, you are grappled by the brood mother to your north. And is, the king is no longer frightened at the end of your turn, right? Yep. Oh, the, damn it, is, is this supposed to do 12? That feels like higher than it was possible when they, when they rolled in the last ones. Also, don't you still have mirror image going? He rolled for it, and they still hit him. Yep. Okay, I just want to check. Anyway, uh, I'm grappled. I can't... How, how close does the king look like to dying? He, he is bloodied. That's what you can tell from his uh, the damage you guys have put on him. I can't tell if he's like on death's door. Uh, he does not look that way. He still looks pretty good. What do I do here? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Narcy's gonna shout, Take cover, Angus! As I use Lorius's daily action. How do I rotate the cones again? So you should be able to click on the uh, on the little uh, area of effect template, and then it's uh, you should just be able to use your mouse wheel. Boom. <laughs> Lorius does a ninja roll out from inside of the tavern and just whew, launches a flurry of arrows. Okay, we'll start with the homeless one. Okay. Angus only eats two damage. Thank God. If it was a, if it was too much, I would have uh, just used pain split and eat the damage for you. Oh, still hurt. Damn. Okay, so some of these guys are going to take half. So they take five. The drudge takes ten and dies. Suppressive takes half. Now that bloodies them because they were bloodied. It activates their cornered ability. So they're going to attack Angus. Hello. But nope. miss. Uh, and then sickened, saved, but takes half damage. Okay, Marceline, what else? 
I shall pray to RNG and end my turn. Okay, may RNG Jesus be in your favor. Okay. Uh, sickened has Merceline grappled. Hmm. What does she want to do with Marceline here? Let's see. Uh, Marceline, she Ooh, starts lag. dragging you. So she moves to there, dragging you into this square. Uh, if you like, you can take an attack of opportunity, Redford. I'm gonna bite her. Was she reckless? I forget. She was no. not. All right. So she's... Five damage. Wait, can I test something real quick? Yeah, I just wanted to check because all my damage rolls are either one or the, like the minimum or the maximum. So I didn't know if that was an error or not. I just wanted to call, check that. It's called Darren Jesus. <laughs> I, you know, I, well, I wanted to check to make sure it wasn't like an error or something. So I just want to check that. Yeah, so she drags Five damage. Marceline to there. Oh, shit. Uh, I almost forgot. You. Uh, oh, it doesn't even matter. Chicken only has three. Chicken's dead. Then she steps to here and puts you here. Marceline. There? Yep, right in between her and Chatty. Is in the wall? Uh, she, like, squeeze, squishes her body in. You see that... Oh, she's under the dead body. Okay. Give me one moment. I'll just move that guy out for a second. I'm actually going to delete him. So she moves you to there, and she actually hasn't used any of her actions yet. She gonna be reckless to gain advantage. And Jesus! She's got a plus two because of the flank. She's going to attempt to knock you on your booty. Be prone? She's going to try to knock you prone with her sweeping prone attack. Uh, 17 with two, two extra. That's a 19 because of the flank. Jesus, please. Yes, RNG Jesus. It hits a uh, mirror image. There we go. Got to my one. last one. There's two Marcelines now dancing around. All right. Juveline, or Juvelin. Uh, Elikir, you see that there are a massive amount of troglodytes covering Angus and now covering Marceline. It's becoming a troglo orgy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'm sure that uh, Lorius knows everything about that. It's true. Uh, Angus, you see this troglodyte run up, and it's going Hello. to leave your threatened square to go here. Uh, I, do I have a reaction? Yeah, I have a reaction. I didn't use one last turn. So, yeah, I'm going to smack it with the shield. Uh, ten. A ten is actually enough to hit the drudge. And as you hit it for ten damage, it dies in that spot. No. <laughs> I imagine its face just caves in. Uh, absolutely. So... Now we're to Chatty. Now, uh, I don't... I think I missed this last turn, uh, Alakir, but Bane, it makes a new save at the end of each of its turns, correct? I read it, and I don't think so. Let me bring it up again. Uh, I think it's oh, just... The, I think it's just the initial point. save. And then as long as I concentrate, it remains... Uh, so I, I, I'm pretty sure it's every turn. Well, let me just cast it, quote-unquote, but... Uh, No, it, it's no. it's oh huh. it sticks. Did it get eroded? I could have sworn it did at one point. That's pretty good then. No, I mean I feel like the initial the initial save is bad enough, so you know. Absolutely. All right. So it is still behind, and there's a Marceline sitting in front of it. So it's going to be a reckless at a plus two, minus a D four. Uh. It's going to also try to 
knock Marceline on her on her hiney. So that's a 17 to hit, which I don't believe hits Hit the clone. Marceline. Don't hit the clone. Fuck okay, it, hit the clone. Oh, there goes my last one. It should have hit me, then it would have missed. Okay, that is actually... Yeah, she'll stay there. The king is is laughing maniacally at all of the violence that has been uh, undertaken so far. Uh, the drudge moves to here. To here, over its uh, ally's body. Mm -hmm. Here, thirty feet. Uh, it is going to be light-footed. Slapping its reptilian webbed feet against the ground. Gross. Tear. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm going to move your chicken out of the way. Uh, it's got a flank on Angus for a plus two to this roll. It doesn't have a way for it to gain advantage, so it's just going to go for a claw. Give me one second. It's being weird. So did the flat damage thing come from updating to 10, or was that a uh, conscious decision? Uh, from updating to 10, because I had a, I have little math formulas figured out for how much damage the monsters do, and it like does not want to roll. So I'll have to figure out why it is doing that. But a claw? That's, that is weird. Uh, so that is a 16, which will miss Inks. Okay. Hmm. We are into the seventh round of this brutal combat. Uh, you guys are getting wounds after wound. Uh, Angus, you're up. There are... There is like a troglodyte on you in every single direction. Yeah, I got a question. Um, so first off, this troglodyte was reckless, correct? Mm hmm Okay, uh, second off, uh, is Estor's shield considered an, um, an unarmed strike, or it's considered, like, a club, essentially, right? It is not an unarmed strike. I just gotta give these guys the reckless tag. Yeah. Y that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna target the one that, um, attacked Marceline first. Um, hmm. Actually, I think hmm. all of these guys were reckless. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Marceline's got a really good... Actually, I'm going to target the homeless first. Uh, and I'm going to smack with Estor's Savage Shield, uh, which should be at advantage. Uh, 21 for 9 points of damage. That hits. Uh, and then I'm going to do my offhand, which should be the Silvered Spike Cestus. I don't know why it... I don't have both equipped first. Oh, I know I have both equipped, but it should be the silver one. Uh, I'm going to offhand this uh, troglodyte actually right next to me. Okay. That one with that. Uh, da da da. Ten, eight piercing damage. Uh, actually, it should be just flat two, but that's okay. Uh, and then a bonus action. Uh, light is going to come out of my chest. And I will re-up the Wild Surge so you have it. Um, On DC yeah. radiant damage. Yeah. Uh, take a constitution save of DC 14, please. Uh, are you attempting to hit the king? Mm. I can't see the king. So I'm not attempting to hit the king. I'm attempting to hit the homeless troglodyte rude mother that I targeted. Okay. Because I can't see the king at the moment, so it wouldn't make sense for me to do so. Uh, she gets a natty one. Yeah, so and that's going to be operation. one. Uh, yeah, so that is... I don't know why there's two there. Ooh, so, they ooh, fall, they nice. fall prone. Yeah, so I'll re-roll the uh, six. So that's two points of damage. Of light damage. Uh, and Angus is just kind of look at Marceline and kind of shrug <laughs> and say, Uh... uh 
You got this? I have an idea. Okay. Uh, that is my... Oh, man. Um... I think he's my opponent. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, uh, Homeless is up. Uh, they're going to use 15 feet of movement to stand up from prone as they are rubbing their eyes because they've been blinded. Mm -hmm. uh, this this Deuterino is dead. Oh. She just shuffles over a step. She will maintain her it, uh, her reckless. So this is a flat attack here. Okay. Okay, so that's a 21. Oh, well, a 23 with the flank for 12 slashing. Ouch. Uh, half damage. Ow. Oh, that hurts. As the brood mother is snapping upon your flesh. Uh, heroes, you see the king. No longer frightened, of course. Stand up and laugh maniacally at your situation. And he says, Heroes, imagine what could have been. Sitting around my dinner table, enjoying a beautiful meal. What the flesh? That's gross. What happened? Uh, the what king is have? being a king. The king is loading. Regiron wants to tell him to shut up. Let's but see. King. Uh, the king is actually going to remain on his throne. Or he'll actually go to here. Ten feet of movement. So he's got a really good line of sight on Alakir. He points at Alakir. And Alakir, he shoots a purple laser beam at you. Mm -hmm. And as it hits you, you feel it chill your body, and you cannot regain hit points until the start of your next turn. You there. <gasps> oh, jeez. Um, I'm going to spend my effect inspiration. Absolutely. Watch me roll out of one. That's okay. Okay, you maintain uh, your bane. All right, uh, he is going to be a master of tactics. Uh, he's going to do this with the sickened troglodyte mother on Marceline. Redfern, you're up. Okay, so no recharge. Uh, how, how do these... Okay, I'm just going to go up. I'm going to go up to the king to slash it and bite him. Get them. Yeah, get him. I... Is he, do I have advantage on this? I'm going to use... I'm oh, fuck his liver! Uh, wait, what, what, what did you say? I didn't mean to roll advantage, but it's 18, so... Yep, 12 yep. damage. And 18 hits? On... And I'll use a bonus action. Oh, wait, that's only if I have a claw attack. No, I think it's a claw attack. Let me check it out. Yeah, I can only use a claw attack again if I use it with a, if I use a claw, action, claw claw already. So I can't use a claw as a bonus action. Uh, I gotcha. So anything else? I am going to turn invisible Ooh. using Hercus. And I'm going to burrow under him. Mm. Uh, absolutely. Interesting. This is soft ground where you could do that, such a thing. So, and he can't get attack our tunic because I'm invisible, so yeah. Oh. Well, I can't see, so I don't know what's going on. No one expected you to go invisible, and then you burrowed five feet underneath him? Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. If that's it. 
Uh, Alukir, uh, the king does not use a paragon action. Please, be my guess. All right. Um, at this point, Alukir, I think, kind of had a few seconds to think to himself and just uh, realize what's going on. Um, and he is going to actually move a little bit in this direction. Mm -hmm. So now I see my uh, <laughs> forgotten, but actually not forgotten, spiritual weapon. <laughs> uh, which actually I don't have control over. Um, but regardless, uh, I'm going to spin it over the head of Mars. Well, actually, hmm, do I want to hit this or do I want to hit the drudge? You're going to have advantage no matter what, so... Yeah, uh, okay, I'm going to basically spin it over the head of Marceline and try to hit the um, bloodied uh, Broodmother. Sure. As a bonus right. section. Real quick, what were the rules on PCHP again? Was it roll, take average? Like, did you have any special rules or was it just roll or take average? For HP at level up? Yeah. Uh, it average uh, i don't think anyone rolled okay yeah i think I have, a, average. I have a plus three con and yet i had the least hp in the party and i'm kind of wondering if i fuck something up wait, was it, wait were we supposed to take average yeah I, I remember rolling oh no i think we did roll yeah but if you i think you guys rolled, honestly i don't remember but uh if Marceline took average and everyone else rolled, that's fine, because they could have gotten ones. Ah, huh. okay. Actually, mm. I have more health. I have more health not. Well, I guess I have that toughness feat, so never mind. Mm. Yeah, because uh, Angus has tough as well. Yeah. Okay. I, I, that question, then. I officially have an issue. I cannot cast spiritual weapon because I don't have spell slots. Didn't you still have the last one up, though? Like, it's right there. No, yes, but typically in order to roll damage with it, I, need, I cast Spiritual Weapon again without expanding a spell slot. I no longer can do that. Can't you just add one to your sheet and just... Can't you add one to your, can't you add one to your mm. sheet and then... We, that we, is uh, what I'm doing. Again. There is n there is no button to cast it. Here. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. I just tried it out real quick. Uh, and it's saying that you don't have access to Spiritual Weapon anymore? Uh, yes, I don't have access to that one specifically. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I never used it, the token to do attacks, but maybe it's a bit concerning. <laughs> I gotcha. Okay, so you hit the Brood Mother for 7 force. Excellent. She's still standing, but it's looking like she's about to drop at any moment. And then Alkir will pull out his um, Javelin of Lightning with sparks going over it. And he'll look at the Broodmother. Uh, okay, before I do this, uh, did, I, did the king address them in common when he called for them to join the fight? He called uh, for them in troglodytes. Like troglodyte uh... in common um kind of all put together. Okay. Do I think they would understand me if I spoke common? Uh, like, based think, on their behavior? You think they might understand a few phrases? Because the king has uh, spoke to them in a few phrases that they seem to understand. Okay. So, pulling out the javelin, Alkir will shout. And actually, I'm gonna... I'm going to use Thaumaturgy for this, just for extra effect. His voice will boom and he'll shout, Stand down and we'll spare the rest of you and your children. I fucking implore you, don't make us kill more, more of them. Ooh, uh, I would say if we were playing a different game to give me a diplomacy check, but since we were playing this game, you can definitely make a persuasion check. Does my thematurgy help at all or no? Uh, if we were playing a different game, I would say to give yourself a plus one circumstance bonus. But since we're playing uh, this could still game, do that. Uh, you, you can have advantage on the check. 
Well, yeah, I mean, it would have. It probably was helpful. <laughs> oh, that's a 16. The uh, troglodyte mothers look to one another kind of worried about their babies. You see that they have kind of a shift in their behavior. So for right now, it looks like they are on the fence. I'll look to Marcel and Angus, since I cannot see Redfern anymore, <laughs> and say, that's one way out. But will I listen? That's my, that's my turn. I mean, they seem to be on the fence. All right, the king is going to spend a paragon. He's got Marceline uh, in his sights. And the king uh, issues a command Ooh. to finish Ow. her. As he says so, the broodmother makes a wisdom saving throw to see is it her base nature? Mm. She looks to the king and she starts to, to balk at him. Blah, blah, blah. And the king looks to her, disgusted. Marceline, you take your turn. Marceline is going to really eye that brood mother. Like, make severe eye contact, meaningful gaze, as she will then reach out and thrust her ghostly hand straight through Angus's back as I cast Flawed Reconstruction at the second level. Oh, God. <laughs> and you get a rush of Marceline's necrotic life energy. It's extremely painful, but you feel your wounds knitting together. Oh, uh, God. And since you're getting Marceline's life energy, you know that this stuff feels pretty messed up and isn't normal. Uh, how do I Aim add the 17 neg HP, but lose 17 max HP. Oh, it did it for me. Never mind. Thank you. Oh, uh, what was that? Like a scar, his old scars start to open up uh, from that. Did I fall, carry the fight? And that no, is my turn. Not again. Okay, uh, the king. We'll spend another Paragon. Uh, but he will spend his Paragon action to move. Up to Would I get attack turn. opportunity? Because, like, a tail? Because, like, a tail, like, burst out of the ground and it hit him. Is that uh, an option? How far underground were you? Like, five feet. Not too far underground. Uh, sure. Okay. Cool. In the nads. Right in the gonads with the stinky tail. Uh, a tail comes out and hits the king for 11. He's still up, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's a boss monster. He is pretty tough. He got insulted that I called him a mini boss. Uh, you guys yeah. uh, haven't been focusing him for a few rounds. Okay, the sickened makes a wisdom save. Does she... Listen to her basal nature. Or does she attack? She looks at Marceline as she saw that spell go off. She's going to attack. She's, oh. go she's going to remain reckless. And she is going to try to eat Marceline with a bite. Let's see what happens. And bite. This Nom? is with a plus two. Oh, ah, dear hits. God. Oh, that's a crit. Mm -hmm. For 24. That's a big out. Yikes. Oh, ah. no. Okay, Marceline is knocked unconscious. Oh, you, oh, damn, that froze my everything for a second. Okay, Chatty is up. Huh? You. The king is going to spend his final paragon action as he sees uh, Alakir standing in front of him. He's going to target you, Alakir. I bring my shield up. Mm. 
misses as he hits your shield. As he was trying to direct the attack onto you next. Uh, Chatty, seeing that Marceline is down, but there is still another up. We'll move to the down counter. Goes to six. Oh. She will make a wisdom save. Oof. She is what? enraged as she saw you kill her babies. She's going to try to defend her babies. She's going to stay reckless. She's going to try for the grappling fist upon you. Nope. Uh, 16 misses. Okay. Okay, we're to the Drudge. Hmm. The Drudge is going to use Lightfooted to disengage. He's going to step on Marceline's body with his stinky feet. Yeah! And he is going to flank Alokir. Alokir, you feel his hot breath upon your neck as he runs up to you. And this creature is going to attempt to bite you with a plus two from the flank. Uh, you guys hear the cries of your allies as they are also being attacked by troglodytes running out of caverns. Lizards coming out of nowhere. But the creature rolls a natural one and misses Alicure. Angus, we're oh. in round eight of this fight. The You see Marceline is down on the ground. A giant bite mark upon her shoulder what is my what is my blood what is the vibe i'm getting from the brood mothers currently other than this one that was clearly angry this one is blind this one is kind of iffy yeah so uh, i she's think blind. uh the chatty tried to you, you saw her make a, like a save like she was trying mm -hmm. to think about what was happening but her mind is gone Cool. Uh, I'm going to uh, risk a opportunity attack, and I'm going to go right next to um, Alakir. Um, okay, yeah. you'll take three of these. The Damn. one is well, the blinded. Can oh yeah. Because doesn't it end at the start of your turn? Uh, yeah, it does. yes, it does. Okay. Which is kind of funny because most of those effects are at the end, so that's that's a weird exception. Sure. Give me one moment. But see, that's why Marceline gave you the last of her life force. 17 HP is an effective 34 for you. Yeah. That misses. So one. Two. Misses. And then a wisdom save from the other. Oh, yeah. And here is number three. Okay. An effective tank. Oh, yeah. As they and I'm gonna use the reaction. I'm gonna target Caliban. Just look back at the rest of these brood mothers and say, "Your king is weak. Protect your younglings." And I'm gonna smack him with Estor's savage. Why did that happen? That's a nat twenty. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um. Uh, yeah. So punch in the face. Oh, it it doesn't have crunchy crits. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. That should be, uh... That should be a 15. Unless Crunchy Crits are no longer a rule. Crunchy or crits they ever a rule? Because remember, bef before this session, it was always one full dice damage plus a regular roll for crits. Yeah, so that should be an extra 6 on there. So 15 total. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to smack him with my offhand, Silver Spiked. Um, getting a weird message. Whoa. Another crit? Another fucking crit. Rip and tear! Uh, <laughs> That's an 18. Yep. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, and then... Um, uh, he's still up. Yeah. He's tough. Uh, yeah, he's tough. But um, one more thing's going to happen. Uh... Pew, pew, pew. Oh, my As God. Make a uh, constitution saving throw for me. Oh. Nope. <laughs> so it doesn't work this time, but uh, he just kind of stands his ground, and he's like, I'm with you, Alakir. 
Excellent. Alkir has just a rage building up in his eyes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to imagine that your fist caught blue fire like the rest of Marsling on those crits. Uh, yeah, let's let's say that. Like, like the silvered spike cestus is melted a little bit. I've shared your energy, my energy with you. Spirit bomb. You're a <laughs> fist. Nice. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, homeless troglodyte broodmother. It's a reaction back. The king says, "Finish the job." Uh, the broodmother, uh, just looks to Marceline, hawks a loogie upon her, and starts- Yeah, you don't want to eat that, you don't know where it's been. That blood is not the right color. And starts walking <laughs> back to the, to the brood caves. Wow. And as she does so, she leaves the initiative. The troglodyte king, uh, regains his paragons. He roars in uh, defiance as he says, mm, Your poisoned words have led to the mutiny of one of my subjects. He moves to the side one, and he unleashes a spray of acid. Oh, oh no, Marceline. Seems like he doesn't care about his own subjects that much. No! Oh, uh, that, that's two failed saves. Uh, I'm going to roll... Isn't it one? Oh, right. Yeah, one. Yeah, Marceline, it would only be one. I... Who am I thinking of? I could... I'm going to try my uh, Faxpiration on this just to see what happens. Yeah, it's a d6. You could potentially get a six. That did not work. Uh, slash R. So, Marceline's Whoops. body is covered in nope. acid, so you're at a 13. Yeah. Um, should I succeed at the cost? Mm, I mean, uh, your choice. depends on how you feel. It's your choice. Yeah. Well, now nah, I'll take the 12 damage. Okay. That's full damage anyway. The king cackles as uh, your body is covered in acid, and Marceline is starting to sizzle. And the king uh -oh. says... Your ally lies there burning. And they will use Not their, for long. their master of tactics upon her. Uh, what, about, what about this bird mother? Do they need to save? Oh, yeah. Uh, give me one moment. So they'll take, oh, no. They'll take 12 damage. Hopefully that assuages them to stay out. We'll see. Uh, Redfern's kind of just going to pop up under, from under the ground, bite the guy on the limb, and then duck back out if he is dead. Hey, Doug. So your invisibility just stays up? It I think will, it's one round. It'll disappear once he attacks, I'm pretty sure. I'll use Faxpiration on Can I use Faxpiration on that? Uh, you have advantage, I believe, because you were invisible. They already that's took the opportunity true. attack though, so it should have dispelled itself. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I do. I do yeah. have actually I do have inspiration though. Can I use that inspiration now? Uh, you have to declare you are using yeah. inspiration before the roll. So yeah, that would be you would need Ooh, inspiration. Out. So that's a twelve, and that's a miss. Well, it'd be uh, plus flank, two because of it. That's a fourteen. A fourteen. That's a miss. Wait, let me check something real quick, actually. Oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> you could succeed. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna duck right down behind below the ground so he can't hit me. So you're going to leave his threatened square? Yes, but he, I'm underground, so yeah. Like duck like a I'm like a shark, but with dirt instead of water. Uh He's as, a mole. Kind of, as you try to burrow out of his way, he won't attack uh opportunity to attack you because he wants his reaction for other stuff. Okay. Uh, as we go to pass to Alakir, the king will use a paragon. And he is... Hmm. 
He will use the commander ability. For the tremendous troglodyte drudge. He's just fat. To attack, he, he's very thick and hardy. Uh, Marceline, who is prone, so this is at advantage. I'd be advantage anyway since I'm unconscious, so. Yes. <gasps> uh, yikes. Uh, oh, now I remember. Yeah, I think that killed me. So you guys I'm see... unconscious, which means it's an auto crit, and the crits are two failed saves, I think. Yep, so you see this creature slash its claws across Marceline's throat as her blood squirts out over the grok. Not again. <laughs> no, not again. Shit. Alakir, it is your turn. You hear Marceline's death gurgles. What do, what do the broodmothers look like right now? Uh, one of them is wiping the acid off of her. The other is grabbing at her head. Uh, they are both very uh, confused at the situation. Mm. Alakir is extremely unhappy. He is going to um, step back one to one step. Mm -hmm. Look the king straight in the eye, and then jam the javelin of lightning in his fucking chest. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and by doing that, what I mean is, I'm gonna speak its command words, <laughs> and I'm going to lightning bolt this dude. Holy shit. Um, okay, oops, that's gonna be rough Point blank because... incineration. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, let me rotate it. Let me try to aim it with this thing in the way. Wait, can I... Okay, I'm gonna place it, but, you know, it's coming fr from it to the king. Holy moly! Okay. So I think it's the um, yeah, it's the the tent that matters. Okay, so as you deal the troglodyte king this damage, the troglodyte king uh, will attempt a dexterity save, I believe, because you're trying to hit him with the lightning bolt. Yep. All right, he succeeds. So the javelin is sticking uh, out of the wall just like uh, right behind him as it returns back to its normal form. Oh, he took 10 damage. He shouldn't have took 10 damage. He should have only took 5 because he saved. 5, yeah. Okay, and this is a bit confusing. It says that the lightning bolt turns back into the javelin when it reaches the target. Uh, I but I guess, yeah, like if I was trying to lightning bolt him, I guess the target was the wall. <laughs> oh, he also <laughs> takes the 7 damage, doesn't he? Uh, because... That's like the part that's a bit confusing because... Make I feel like if he is the target, then... Yeah, it, it says make a ranged weapon attack against the target on a hit. The target takes d damage from the javelin plus the 4d6 lightning damage. Correct. Uh, I does. think the lightning bolt continues, but the javelin stops at the first target. Yeah, so, right. so, so the A is all, the... All that, I think. Well, regardless, it was a javelin attack at, you know, melee range, so a 9 probably doesn't hit him. <laughs> so, Alec here, I, I assume you, you were using the lightning bolt effect? Uh, yes. If you're using the javelin effect, then it would be the seven piercing and then the eight lightning. So he, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So because I you're see. using the lightning bolt effect, which is totally fine, mm -hmm. he yep. dodges, takes five lightning damage, and now your javelin of lightning is right here on the wall. All right, that works. Uh, and then I'm going to gesture sort of with my right hand and from behind the wall... A mace of spiritual energy is gonna swoop swoop around and try to hit the king on the head. Nice. Uh, can you click it, it, it? Oh, hold on. Give us one second here. I've got an idea. Let me delete it. What is your wisdom modifier? It's a plus five. 
Oh, so you're at a 20 wisdom. Mm -hmm. And you guys are level 4. Okay. Uh, so here's your spiritual weapon. You should be able to activate or click on it and stuff. Right. Yes, I can. And uh, if you open its character sheet, it now has an at-will spiritual weapon. Yep, I see that. Is it possible to get me off of it? Because every time that spiritual weapon appears, I have access to it. Sure. Unsent, your spirit animal is this spectral mall. <laughs> so that I don't weird click that thing. There we go. What the hell? Okay, so spiritual weapon mm -hmm. rolls up, I do. hits this creature for 11 damage. As it hits him in the back, the king dies. Oh! Finally! And falls to the ground. As the king falls to the ground, the uh, ingot he was holding skitters across the floor. The troglodyte drudge and the brood mother look terrified as they look to run for their lives as their king has fallen. Do that. Uh, Elker will just sort of look at, just stare at them with anger in his eyes and just wave his hand sort of with, at, at a dismissive, in a dismissive way to, so that they scatter. And you I see throw the, kind of peek up from beneath the ground. You see we them won. scatter? And since Marceline is dead, we will exit the initiative order. My god. Wait, is she like dead dead this time? I think she's dead dead. I'm gonna hold her uh, neck up and just like, no, we lost her. Uh, as you guys hold up Marceline, uh, you are holding her in her in your arms, Angus? Is that correct? Yes. She begins yep. to violently shake in your arms. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold her close and just hold her tight. Marceline, you are violently shaking. Your body is in a way trying to rid itself Oof. of the rigor mortis that is starting to take over. Uh, In your mind's eye, you are in a green plain, surrounded by crystalline structures. The air is dense and heavy upon your lungs, stretching out ahead of you is a line of endless ethereal bodies. One by one, they disappear in front of you. Bloop, 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 bloop. As you look down, you see that there is a gaping wound in your chest. I need to play some music here. From all sides, you see creatures that look like a fusion between a cockroach and a human man carrying odd batons that are charged with electric energy as they are shocking the ethereal figures stretched out in front of you. Heroes on this plane, Marceline's body, you see, is slowly still twitching as threads 
of green energy begin to work themselves into her wounds and begin to stitch them together. What's happening, Alakir? On the plane that you are on. You are beginning to be pulled away. You see the ethereal figures are reaching out towards you. The cockroach bug looking humanoids are chasing after your spirit that is being pulled in this green ethereal plane. What is your reaction? Do I recognize these cockroach creatures at all? Do they resemble anything? Uh, you can give me a arcana check. Do. And I can I can show you an image of what they look like into the chat. Ooh. I'm putting this image into our Discord chat, everyone. Oh. This is the creature that you see, Marceline. Due to your studies, you know that this is a Mesoloth, a daemon, a creature from the lower plane. You are being pulled faster and faster and faster. You see that line stretching out ahead of you, behind you, in all directions. The green, heavy air laying heavy upon your chest. The people uh, that are in the Mithril Mines, your B team, has assembled next to you, trying to help you however they can with the violent thrashings of Marceline's body as those green threads are pulling themselves in and out of her wounds. Can I... Can... Alkira will have his eyes uh, flash a vibrant blue and I'll just try to see if I can sense undead in this whole energy. <laughs> uh, your uh, vision, like someone who put on night vision goggles in the light of day, almost burns your eyes as you see this light coming from Marceline's body. Marceline, you hear a strange sound over the ambience of what is happening. For a second, I thought that was crying. You hear a cackling laughter over the plane that you were on that does not seem to end. When you hear a deep voice coming from your center, say, We aren't done yet. Your world flashes white. Marceline, you awake. Your allies are standing around you. Your wounds have been sewed shut with a green thread. Angus is like standing, is holding you as best as he can and is crying. Marcin, are you alive? Refuse! I refuse! This is not your time! I think she's You alive. cannot have me! I just hug you tight. Mercy. Have no purpose! Sorry, I'm not strong enough. It's Sorry. okay, Marceline, you're back, I think. Alec here, your vision is keyed upon Marceline's palm. 
I believe you all noticed the last time that this happened, she gained a wound upon her hand. You see that there is now a second etched in green thread. What did the first one look like? Again? Just like a regular, uh, it's like a scar? The first was a normal scar. And Marceline, as you are brought back, let me just look at this real quick, just to make sure. You have all wounds closed. If you are under the effects of any poison or disease or curses, they would have been lifted. Any damaged or missed or damaged or missing organs or limbs have been replaced. And you come back fully restored, as if you had a long night's rest. How oh, are you feeling? Rice strain. Rice born. Rice slain. Rice born. Rice slain. Rice born. Assured that Marcy is back to her normal and sane self, uh, Redfern will look at the stuff that the Caliban was was like carrying. Uh, he was holding a ingot and the uh, large crown that he was wearing on his head that branched off into antlers is now laying upon the ground. Red Ford definitely looks take a look at... Well, assu assuming you're not interrupting the scene, in which case, uh, feel free to continue it. Red Ford will definitely look at the crown. Maybe put it on. Well, not put it on. That'd be a dumb idea. Uh... Should we take a look at the crown? Should we pick it up? Uh, Kyrie Ray slash Kyrie, goddess of music, uh, walks closer to you, Angus, and uh, will throw an arm around your your back and say, "The the troglodytes are gone, and we all witnessed what happened to poor Marcy here. Is everyone all right?" No, I'm not strong enough. You're strong enough. You just I mean, her friend are not sure what to say because she can't really just. She can't, she's not really sure how to comfort him. Don't be hard on yourself. You held against a horde of them all yeah, by yourself. You're fleeing! Pain is transient! I couldn't save Marcy. None of us could. But Although. It seems. Mm. How? I don't understand. Means nothing Marcy. without death. Yet death is nothing without purpose. Uh, uh, Angus is gonna take his big uh, hands and just hold your face, Marceline, and just say, "What is going on? You're here. Stay here." Marceline, can you oh, hear beyond us? Beyond is blackened and crumbling. I refuse. Marceline, can you hear me. us? How do you know what's happening? This this is kind of outside my purview of. Uh... Not yeah. Me. Not yet. What's to be done? She says, hold, hold on. I think I have something that could potentially help. And she pulls out an accordion. No. No. No music. Unless there is some, this is some magical stuff. I don't know if this is appropriate. It will piss her, <laughs> maybe, maybe it will bring her back. It will piss her off. She says, hmm. hold on. Hold on. And she begins to play her accordion. They just, uh... Right, right. Yeah. And with it, she gives you a song of rejuvenation. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of an entertainment for the uh, troglodytes. <laughs> You hear a mass scuttling of feet as they may have had a secret passage to exit uh, from. Oh. Uh, your B team uh, approaches covered in blood, grime, poo, blood, the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, Karina, 
will approach you, Alakir, and mm. say, you used, you used it for the first time. It was spectacular. You mean the, uh, he'll point to the, to <laughs> Javelin just sticking out of the wall, or you mean, and he'll point you to her. You're a fucking idiot, I had the horn of Balmetria. <laughs> Uh, you guys have oh, and the, the elk horn! God damn it! <laughs> we forgot so much stuff in that fight. Oh, that's right. I had the elk horn. I, I don't have it on my character sheet. Marina, do you speak of the javelin, or do you mean our little coordination? <laughs> she says, well, both. Well, I suppose that's true. Yeah, uh, you look a little frazzled, but I saw you fighting really, really bravely. Thank you. And, uh, no, she doesn't want to take away from what has happened, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, Angus is still holding your head, by the way. Very, very firmly. Alakir is holding her hand. Rapidly. Back. Back. I'm back. Yeah. Mar Marceline, where, what did you see? As soon as you say you're back, uh, he Angus gives you a bear hug. Marceline, I think, I think you're going to kill her again if you keep hugging her like that, mm -hmm. Angus. Sorry. Yeah, sometimes uh, it's just, it's okay. And he's going to walk over to the king and start stomping on him. Yeah, that's... Oh, oh that's no, I one, need his liver! That's one coping mechanism. Oh, yeah, she's back. Uh, I'm going to take the crown. Uh, uh, actually, Redfern has the crown. Never mind. Redfern has the crown. That should probably... Moment in retrospect. Uh, yeah, uh, Kalik looks at it. Like, What does it look, look like exactly? It's having, having like stag things on it. Like that. Yep. It is a golden metal. It has antlers and three red gemstones. Do you want me to try to see if it has magic? You mean like put it on you or something? No, I can. And uh, his eyes flash uh, with arcane electricity uh, as he basically looks at the crown. And within 60 feet, any magic item. Uh, it. He's absolutely charged with a magical energy. And what school does it belong to? Uh, give me one moment. This would does it be... matter? Angus doesn't know. I mean, out of character. I have a, th I have a theory, but... I think Redford has like... a theory. I mean... Alakir has no yeah. clue. I have a theory. Yeah. It may have something to do with the uh, magical abilities of the Chocolate King and how smart he was. This oh, yeah. Juju Chocolate turned that smart. This would be transmutation. Marcy's going to start taking that uh, breastplate off of him. She wants it. Yeah, let's let's collect the stuff and then take maybe a rest. I'm glad you're back. Well, I'm sorry. I'll get stronger. You are pretty strong as is, Angus. Don't worry. Strong enough. Look, Reality you can't. Leading. Look, you can't shoulder all of us on, you know, your one well pair of shoulders. We all have to pull our weight. Worry about your own flesh prison before you worry about mine. Marceline, I've dropped the mithril breastplates onto your character sheet. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm like, like collecting the weapons that like the guards and stuff had. Okay. And Redford is still holding the uh, crown, I think. Whatever it is. Sure. So, so. Uh, you've picked up the adamantine short sword. <clears throat> I'm going to oh. personalization the shit out of this, though, because even if he was smart, she doesn't trust him to be cleaner. Sure. It, I forget. Does 5e have, like, an identify magic item activity like Pathfinder 2 he does? Uh, yeah, that is he, that's person. a spell. There's identify, oh, identify spell, yeah. and then if you take a short rest with an item, uh, you can learn some of its properties. Uh, 
I'm gonna take a short rest then, you guys, because it seems like we all kind of need it anyways. Yeah. I feel like with, a, with a cacking I mean, and emotionally. I feel like, I mean, short rest, definitely. I will put a tentative vote for a long rest, but that will be up to you. Actually, I'm fine with a long rest. We do have a camp outside. We could head back there and then head back in now that the chocolate lights are gone. We still must well, descend deeper into the netherworld. The hounds are waiting. I they know, are, but... Maybe it's better if we rest a little before we do that. Like, I mean, I will... At least a short rest is in order. If you all feel strong, we can keep going, but I don't see it. I mean, Angus is, like, coughing with 18 health. Not very right. I'm doing well. I think Elker looks, Elker looks absolutely exhausted. <laughs> like, even beyond his exhaustion. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should long rest. Redfern is fine with heading to like the camp up back outside and just camping there for another eight hours and then heading back in now that the chocolate lights are gone. Yeah, I Our guess we won't have to deal with uh, Cut out the king's liver, then his eyes, and then his heart. And she will take the blood from his heart and pour it into her empty potion bottle. Redfern kind of like. All the while she's muttering under her breath in a strange language. She doesn't even recognize Red... she's muttering. If we're look at you, and if you look at her, she'll come give you a thumbs up or claws up, whatever. I don't care if we look at that and say, So, are you gonna drink that? Maybe. Can you call me Cross for. <laughs> and he'll pull out the potion of Centaur Courage. <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> All right. Uh, Kyra is offering you a high five. Cool. <laughs> Oh, uh, Alakir, because that was a sick burn. Uh, he'll kind of shrug and I guess, like, she's 30 feet away from you, so I guess he'll, uh, kind of awkwardly, you know, high five the air. <laughs> the music. Mm -hmm. She's still playing on her, uh, accordion. You know, she's growing on me a little bit. I hope that I would eventually. Well, in a nice way. Um. So yes, we. If we all have stopped, I mean, have finished collecting drinks and whatever it is, kind of wincing at the eyes and the liver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shall we? Shall we go? Let's. The uh, king have. Uh, where'd that ingot go? It is still laying on the ground at the moment. Is that ingot magical? Uh, it is not. By uh, using your uh, detect magic vision, it appears to be just a ingot, but it does uh, match the the metal. That uh, the breastplate and the ring mail appear to be made of. We should probably take it. Maybe Vulcan will be able to forge something out of it. Might be able to upgrade yeah, this to a set of half plate. I clearly yeah. need the protection. Right. I think we yeah. have a few things to talk about. Yeah, uh, Marcia, about that about that whole thing. How much time can you? Do you know how why that's happening? Like why you're not for all, for lack of a term staying dead. I have my suspicions. It was laughter. Lots and lots of egotistical, arrogant laughter. Was mm. it the lady? The crazy lady? Feminine, yes. So it's the the sister wife? Lutheria? Lutheria? Oh, I thought we were not supposed to say their names. He is the local uh, death goddess. I mean, it I would make... If you across the river, sticks will be her undoing. Well, if she is the goddess of death, and presumably they don't want us to succeed, why wouldn't she take you? Arrogance. Hmm. Insanity. Those scars on your hand, he'll point out the new scars, did they also happen after your first death? Not the first one, no. The first one was on my chest. Oh. 
I, I, I don't think we can. How much times we can we keep doing this? I, I don't think we can trust it happening again. As long as it amuses her, I suppose. As long as it amuses I mean, them. That's fair. Her work but... is not yet done. Yes. Just don't. We should get that feeling on... that when she said "hour," she was not referring to the party. Yes, I think we should all rest, take a light, light sleep. Do you think I... that there is anything we can do to, well, break your chain to whatever it is that's tethering you? Break it. He gives a um, an African. Why would we do that? Well, never that, interrupt enemy when they're making a mistake. And wouldn't that kill Marceline? If how do we know that's not the only thing keeping Marceline alive at this point? Besides, I have ideas. Alakir will once again flash his eyes, look at Marceline herself, and also look at her at the green tether scar. Marceline? Just to see if there's any undead uh, magic uh, well, energy remaining. Marceline herself uh, appears to be. As she always is, not charged with undead energy. But as you trace down to that green scar, you definitely detect undead energy from it. It's not only do you strange. see that in her hand, her empty eye socket with the blue flame, when you look upon it, it's not blue. It's a sickly uh, eldritch green. But only mm. with your vision. Hmm. I don't know, Marceline, you seem mostly alive, not undead, although that scar is definitely has strong, strong, strong sign to it. I am saturated with negative energy. I haven't been alive in over five years, not all the way anyway. Well, debate, I guess, hmm, debatable, but just... You seem... It seems to take a toll on you. Whatever keeps you alive. And I don't trust anything that would trap a being shallows are across somewhere between state. life and death. Mortals are not meant to wade into the shallows so easily. Not without insurance. Well, or things across the veil. Insectoids, forearms, demons. That sounds dreadful. There were others. Let's hope we can keep you from going to that place again. I will visit the Midmire yet. The Algar will just Algar will just kind of um, pat Marceline's shoulder as he passes and will say, "Just stay safe and try not to die, okay?" Your now, how much Vitro stuff is here? Uh, well, you guys collected the ring, the ring mail, the breastplate, the ingot, and then the uh, adamantine weapons. And that is uh, all that you uh, recovered beyond the uh, Troglodyte King's kind of uh, antlered helmet. Which, uh, and one mithril has. ring mail or two mithril ring mails? There is one set of each of those armor. And how many adamantine spears? There was one was adamantine a spear and one adamantine short sword. Do you want one? I could probably use spear, but... Uh, Marceline is eyeing the uh, mithril. And just says, Alakir, do you want any of this mithril? Mm, I'm not exactly... Meta... I mean... Not exactly a forgery per forge person, so... Probably have... not. Uh, just, like, just like technically, if I look at this mithril armor... Is it... Hold on. <laughs> what kind of armor Marceline, is it? Like in, in character, Marceline wants to take the breastplate, the ring mail, and the ingot and see if uh, Vulcan can't turn it into a full set of half plate. 
I mean, sure, go for it. Like, I don't know if I can... So I can I, I can wear a light and medium armor. I don't know if it looks like something I could, could wear. Uh, what are you currently wearing? Heavy. Yeah, so Alakir is like... It oh, no seems a bit too yet. heavy for me, so... But I'll pass. Yeah, we'll probably just take the ring mail to... Uh... Hulk and then see if he can't convert, uh, combine it with the breastplate, since the breastplate is already part of a half plate. Well, first we have to clear the mine, so let's go sleep, please. Yes, let's go and take a rest. Agreed. Excellent, so you guys will exit the mines then, so I will take us back to the landing page. The whole uh, time Red... that we exited. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, Redfern will probably just clean our tail because during a long rest, because, you know. You're, now I kind of want to start stacking all of Marceline's uh, undead minions in the top right corner just to see how many it goes through in the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Two fucking many. I mean, yeah, it'll be perfect. But, Henry, uh, the... Harriet, Calvin, Caleb. Uh, Angus was keeping a real close eye on Marceline the whole time they they were leaving. She's like almost guarding her. You did not see Vosk in the veil. Who? More loyal than I thought. Okay. See you soon. So, heroes, you're able to exit the Mithril Mine, and after exiting, Glorious the best boy, uh, lead you all on a merry jaunt under the waterfall back to the camp site that you guys uh, had the, your centaur party at. Mm -hmm. And you are all sitting around the fire. Kyra has not Angus. stopped playing her accordion. Uh, Angus just collapses just snoring. We should take these adamantine weapons and have Oaken turn them into better Cestus for Angus. Perhaps. It's not like a bad idea. Reference will agree with you. I think that's a pretty good idea. I know adamantine's pretty strong and he's pretty strong, so hopefully he can make some hard hitting Cestuses with it. While this is going on, she will have the Mind Flayer skull out, and she's still engraving it and putting metal and precious stones into it. And it shakes occasionally, like on its own in her hands. And sometimes there's a flicker of a figure coming from it, but it always vanishes. And every time it does, Marceline just gives an annoyed tisk. Mm. See, though, what I notice. <laughs> oh, it's very blatant. Mm. It's different from the other figure flickers, though. That much is obvious. Is it 10 perception blatant? <laughs> I'd say yes. Okay. Uh, Marceline, do... Is that normal? Do you see that figure as well? Oh, I see it. That's the goal. Not yet um, ready. Not perfected. Okay. Still need more material. And who exactly does that figure belong to? My best friend. The skull. Skull. Vosk has lingered. Did he also die and... Oh he... yes, he was slain by a Balhanoth. Balhanoth? Balhanoth. Does Alkir know what that is? <laughs> Because I sure not, don't. I sure don't. <laughs> okay. Well, Alkirk just looks a bit confused. Uh, very little fuckers. You ever wander oh. through a forest and the scenery changes and you know it's not Faye, it's probably about an off. Oh, good to know, I suppose. Are you going to bring him back just like your chicken friends? Or is it some somehow different? He will be greater than those. But is it the same principle? More or less, I suppose. 
Mm. She'll walk among us, if only temporarily. If I am to cross the veil and come back on that direction, then who's to say he can't from this side? The dead don't tend to return, although you seem keen on proving that principle wrong over and over. This dead man hasn't left. Mm. He says no, we'll he only sticks around because of my brain and that he hopes to eat it when I die, but I, I believe otherwise. Why would he lie to you, though? Seems a, seems like a weird bargaining point for something that's a skull bargaining. and hopes no not to be a skull. Here. Like, why would it tell you that it wants to eat your brain if you're the its only hope of walking again? That seems counterintuitive. Just shrugs. Illithids are weird. Are you sure he is, or she, or whatever it is, is not going to try to devour us? He won't. As long as you control it, or, or if it's own volition? One of my conditions for my companionship was that he do not eat those that don't deserve it. So thus far, he has held to his bargain. And who decides whether somebody deserves being eaten? I do. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll see, I suppose. So far, your little friends have proved. And he'll kind of begrudgingly kind of just uh, groan. Useful. So I suppose that as long as you can control your friend. I can perhaps live with that. But if he slips, or if any of your undead friends slip, they're gone. You won't have to worry about Vosk. His form may be greater, but it requires more effort on my part to bring him forth. Well, I only hope that that effort translates into more use you know, and more that safety. Reminds me. Arceline digs into her sack, brings out more chicken skeletons as she casts Animate Dead Beasts again, This bringing out two more chickens. Okay, that's <laughs> enough of me, and Alkir will wander off and will face plant into the river. Meet Finn and Fiona! Welcome back, friends, you won't be here long. Actually, this is a good point. This is a good point. Um, is the camp right right um, next to the river, or are we more into the forest? I would say it's probably closer to the river. Okay, I'll care if it's not. Is it like thirty feet away ish or more? I would say yeah, thirty feet. Okay, I'll care. We'll. Um, wander off into the river and just basically sit down slash lay down on the shallow um, not and uh, and just spend his rest slash sleep in the river. Earthburn will also uh, clean herself in the river. Before she goes to bed and sleeps. Okay. And Angus has already told us that they immediately plopped down and fell asleep the second that the adventure was uh, made it to the camp. As barbarians do. Mm -hmm. uh, he was sleeping through that whole conversation. Mm-hmm. Your uh, companions have uh, sat around and 
watched you all uh, and just kind of smile at the adventures that they have gone through. And I need to add a new token to our board of enemies. Caliban, oh. Troglodyte King. Oh. Makes sense. He was quite a foe, I have to say. You gotta hate minion mancers. I mean, even even he himself was pretty tough. Um, he was a minion mancer. I'm shocked that Alucard's intimidation slash persuasion attempt worked. He is not a charismatic guy. The... Well, when you're in a fight to the death, things change. Yeah, it felt it felt appropriate though. You uh, all would have seen them scrambling in hole after hole, looking for ways to exit to the hollow world. Well, we aren't going to stop them. We have enough dead kids in our conscience. Herkus would ask Redfern, Hey, Redfern, uh, I was going to ask you, you know, in there, in the tunnels, we saw all of those troglodyte broodlings. Did you ever think about uh, crushing them? You know, based on uh, what you did to those goatling babies, I thought that's what uh, you were going to do. I sure kind of frowned and says, like, well, I mean... Maybe a thought, but I, I've been, I didn't want to unless I needed to. That's something I thought much of, because, you know, it, it never really came of much of a concern until they... It never really came much of a concern in general. Well, is this... Aside a... from the fact that, like, you no. Know, Go ahead. Yes, sir, Chris? Oh, I was going to say, shield. is this you turning over a new leaf? Are you, uh gonna be uh, more cautious yeah I need to be less impulsive and less violent some solutions may work better than others as Alec Kira showed does anybody want my old armor currently snoring underwater snoring <laughs> In two more levels, I can join you. Talking with Herkus. Uh, out of curiosity, what kind of armor do you have? Gale mail. Chain mail. Gale mail. Which, which is. Medium armor. 14 AC plus 2. Ooh. Same as the dress plate, basically. Just uh, heavier. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, same as me. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm good. Does Fergus have anything else to say, or is that it? He was going to ask, uh, well, if you've turned over a new leaf, no uh, shooting first, asking questions, never. I feel like you'll uh, need a, a new moniker. The Diplomatic Heroes of the Hotland. What about that was diplomatic? He looks at you and says, hmm, maybe you're right. Maybe I do need to do a little workshop on that. My only regret is that I didn't tear out their throats before they tore out mine. He rubs at her neck absentmindedly. Maybe I should get some cestus. this Maybe I could just sharpen my nails some more. She looks at her claw-like fingernails. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Heroes, as you're sitting around the campfire, are there any meaningful acts that you would like to partake in? Otherwise, you all can gain a long rest. Well, Alkir, I think Alkir only needs four hours of... Um wet sleep <laughs> and uh, so he's going to spend a few hours afterwards um just kind of talking with karina and uh working a bit more on her 
um, medical skills. Oh, Alec, here, you naughty boy. You went dreaming all night long. Mm hmm. <laughs> Always have a good. Absolutely. Sounds good. So, Alec here working with Karenna for during the long rest. Anyone else? Angus has been sleeping, but stayed close to Marceline. And if Marceline moves, you notice that Angus has a hold on part of your cloth. I'll do her tail. I, yeah, sure. Yeah. Redford's not really doing much. I mean, they can't really do much to a dragon. They're kind of just loafing, sleeping like a cat. I like it. Alcar will also spend a little bit of time uh, praying to Thylea at in the at the end of the rest and basically shift around some of his preparation. Excellent. All right. So we the time will pass. We are now on to the. 19th of Thylea, you all could gain a long rest. Yay! And Alakir is no longer exhausted. There's Those who dreams have magic powers, my friend. <laughs> As you all awaken from the long rest, uh, Kyra has finally stopped playing the the accordion. I did all night long. She was really <laughs> she was really hyped. You almost well, that I'm... she does seem to play her instruments quite often uh, when you guys are resting. Well, I'm glad to hear that my dying invigorates you so. She says, Marcy, Marcy, Marcy. Let's not think of it like that. Think of it this way. You're back from the dead again. Better than ever. Brand new fancy scar. And we got all sorts of cool stuff. Like Redford's wearing that crown over there. Redford, did you wear the crown, or what is your choice for that? Oh, that's probably a good point. Uh, last night, I was probably trying to investigate before I like, slept, trying to figure out what it was. If it's not too late to recon that. No, you're Basically, good. you spent long rest tuning to it? We're not actually tuning to it, but trying to figure out what it is. But if not, I'll try to attune to it, yeah. Okay. Or Absorber's power, because can't really tune to a thing, probably. So, uh, identify magic item through a short rest. You finished it, and you learn that this item, if you choose to attune to it, will increase your intelligence score to 19. It is an attunement item. Rad. That's cool. Take it, then make a smart angus uh, I, for some reason that was my first thought as well we should go to <laughs> angus. that would be we, so weird what would he benefit for a 19 intelligence I mean, the um, saves the saves actually the saves would be the saves plus, plus the three. long side of a triangle is equal to a squared plus b squared equals c squared takes out the nope. ground nope. don't even know <laughs> Uh, you would uh, increase your score to 19, which would mean you have a plus 4 to the score now, instead of a minus 2. Yeah. Is there any other benefit, or is that it? Just curious. It's just a head benefit, like. Oh, okay. 
Cool. Yeah. I I'll mean, add a ton of sheet. Yeah, that doesn't uh, that doesn't really help Angus. Um, you know, because he's punchy, punchy, punch, punch, punch. Oh, ignore that. I was trying to type it in to Plutonium. It's like I add it to my sheet. So, do you you uh, add it to your sheet, Redfern? That is this you saying that you are going to attune to it? For now, yeah. Okay. Uh, as you attune to the item, uh, let me check something real quick here. Do we oh, have boy. secret chat? Nope, but we should. Uh, DMs would DMs work, Discord, I guess, yeah, over yeah. Discord. Yeah. Let's right. pop into secret chat real quick. Have fun. What? Oh. Ooh. What's it? What's the deal with it? What's the curse? Okay, so you uh, attune to the item. Uh, unfortunately enough, identifying the item does not reveal you its curse. Unfortunately enough, this uh, object is curse. So. Oh boy, what is the deal? Uh, while you are attuned to this item, it uh, doesn't want you to not be attuned to the item. So. That's the first effect. Secondly, in the morning, you did not wake with the others uh, as soon as they did. Uh, you rested for another four hours instead of the usual eight. Got it. So the curse is that I sleep more, or is there more to it? Yes. Uh, do, do, do. And uh, at the start of every day, I'm going to need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Got it. Like, is, like right now? Yep. Okay. Okay. So when you awake, uh, you did not pass the save. I will tell you this much. You awake with a level of exhaustion. Oh, the boy. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, you were plagued by nightmares, terrible dreams of the hollow world, the hollow realm that lies between this world and the worlds outside of Thylea. And we can return to the normal voice channel. Okay, uh, how do I get rid of this thing again, or is that something to figure out in character? Do I know uh, it's cursing character? Uh, I think you could put two and two together. But uh, the item wants to remain attuned to you. So, uh, unfortunately enough, this item you can't just unattune to. So you're going to have to figure out a way to un uh, get someone or something somehow to remove, remove this the curse. item from you. Or the curse, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, got it. Cool. Party? Yeah, guys, I'm cursed. Oh, um, Again? okay. Any specific? Is the crown talking to you? Is the king back in your head? What's going oh, on? Oh no, I'm just having terrible nightmares. No. Oh. What? Okay. Of oh, this weird hollow world place. Oh. Is Redfern looking um, tired, or is she, is she full of energy? <laughs> oh, they're tired, all right. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a bit rough. So just nightmares? Anything specific? Also, I sleep another four hours every day. I, I take 12 hours long rest. That's so, a bit inconvenient, but okay. That's a lot. But I mean, we have been resting for probably 16 hours. <laughs> so... Uh, no, we've been sleeping a long time. Do they also, I, I can't remove the... Uh, I, need, I can't remove the... Uh, Thing, crown. A crew attunement. Mm. So Maybe. you'll have nightmares every night, and mm, that's. Do I die or it's removed? Well, maybe we can find the priest to get rid of it. Yeah? Ant, oh, yes. Ant, Ant, do you do that, Alok here? Yeah, that, do you have anything that could help with that? That spell isn't very high level. That calls on. Well, as far as I know, it calls on pretty powerful magic to do that. Out of character. 
pretty sure it's greater restoration, and I only have lesser. Do you have remove curse? Um, good question. I'll be right back. That's third level. If it is, then not yet. Yeah, that's a third level. Yeah, okay. Spell. But okay, so I'll say then. I I am aware of the magic that can cure curses, but. I don't have. I'm not strong enough for that yet. My connection to Thalia is, well, still in development. But what happens if we remove that and then give it to one of the chickens? Well, can't remove. That's a thing. You you said yeah. You said you can't. Well, you can't remove that. What if one of us tried to do it? No, I can't remove the attunement, which means even if I remove it, it's still attuned to me and it can't be put on. Well, it. Obviously, but I mean, after we figure that out. Hold, hold uh, on, please. hold on. And Kyrie Ray will approach you. So, hold on, let me try this. And she puts her feet on your, against your shoulders, and she grabs the crown, and she tries to pull the crown off your head. <laughs> As she's doing squats, and she's like... Please get okay. off me, Kyra. I'm going to go behind Kyra and uh, start pulling as well. I'm going to go oh, behind Angus and start pulling. Please, <laughs> please, get off me. Uh, Redfern, this crown is not budging. You f swear that you can feel small, tiny tines extending from the crown into your br into your mind, like into your head. Stop it! It hurts. It hurts. Something's in my head. Stop! It's 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 throwing something in my head. Please get um, off me. Uh, I think I'm fighting goddess. Even the power of the gods cannot make it come off. <laughs> that, was, that, was probably, that was probably the most idiotic way you could try to remove it, but okay. I'm not well, really you know, sometimes we don't know the that for sure. Not until Pythor tries to rip it off. Oh no, that's okay. Kyra, Kyra, can you make sure not to make Pythor not let, not know about this at all? Hopefully, we can remove that before we get to Pythor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kyra, can you can you make sure to not like, Pythor about this in the slightest? She goes to answer, but Karina approaches. I have an idea, Redfern. Hold on. I, do you consent to me trying my idea to loosen the crown from your head? Uh, no, but what's your idea? Well, what's your idea first? She's like, what if we get you really greasy and then it slides no. off? Well, I don't, yeah, I feel like the magic is, if the magic was strong enough to repel a god. <laughs> also, it, 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 like, it wasn't repel, it was literally digging things into my head to not let go. She points to her head. Like, yeah, digging claws into my head to not let go. Like, yeah. I, I don't think you can remove it physically. It is a good idea, Karina, but probably, Grease will probably not work against this curse. Uh, at worst, it'll actually rip off my skull, so don't do that. Do we know anyone that can remove curse? I do. Isn't mm. there a priest in... I never heard about a priest in uh, Astoria. Perhaps Aesop mm -hmm. in Astoria could... Well, either knows how to do it or could point us to someone, but I'm hopeful we'll be able to do it before then. Kyra says to you all aloud, I know one person, but... You're not going to Gaius. She says... I was Let her gonna, finish. I was not going to say Gaius... Uh, I see that you have some sort of weird uh, Mitro syndrome where after he beat you up, you're probably in love with him. Anyways, what? My, my, my sister, the queen, she could potentially do it. Well, let's, okay, let's, hope it, let's hope it doesn't kill me before. Let's hope it doesn't kill me before we can get there to Mitro's. But see, that there is your problem. Drugs are your best friend. Okay. Okay. Questionable, but well, it's alright. Fred friend will. I'm confident we'll be able to get it off you in a proper way. You see what I'm talking about, right? Those shrooms that make you sleep like a log. Marcy, you're not helping. Right from roll, please. I mean, not to, but like, if if a mushroom makes you sleep, that seems kind of a strange, well, weak, weak mushroom. Not weak. No, ignore me. Okay, sorry. Redfern will mope for a bit. Sorry if I'm a bit tired. I just had a bad night's sleep. No, it's yeah. alright. I can, I can relate. Video I can horrible. relate. Uh, Redfern, throughout the, the, the dream that you had, 
you uh, just remember over and over again, over the images you saw, this cackling laughter. Really sounds like crying. Right until the oh ho ho. Would would Redfern know who this is? Uh, give me a religion check. Is OOC? I think I have an idea. Well, of course, that's also OOC. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. You have I do no not. idea who that could be. <laughs> Zero. You think it could potentially be Kyra? No, just kidding. You have no idea. Kyra, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Uh, she once again says, yes, the queen, Valis, she is the goddess of wisdom. She commands the domain of knowledge. If there is anyone who knows what to do, it's, it's her. But uh, from my information, the routes to Mitros are blocked by a mighty storm. So we will have to keep you alive until then. Mighty storm? Oh, what did Mitros do to piss off Sidon? exist uh, one of the five gods perhaps she's like well I guess we'll find out when we get there but are you okay to travel back into the mines Redfern I think I am I'm just uh, she kind of flops down we'll walk it off that night I slain nothing I died well, you can. I feel better now. My exhaustion's gone. Oh no, it's bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm I suck now. <laughs> yeah, you're not smelly anymore. That's for sure. Yeah, at least that's true. The oh, visual hallucinations can... are a bit soon when it comes to sleep deprivation. You can't be having that after one night. Uh, oh, oh, see, is this is this like going to be stuck with me until I get back to get to Metros? Uh, unless you find another way to heal it. Uh, Kyra has given you a suggestion, but she is not the only knowledgeable NPC that you guys know of. Okay, Would I uh, know... Actually, oh, no, it's fine. I'll reserve the question until later. Yes, let's head to the mines again, I guess. Not like we much else to do. Maybe use your, use your, your, use your ir irritation to turn those hellhounds into dust. Yes, the e the faster maybe the faster we get these trials and the faster we can get the metros. Mm -hmm. That's how that works. We'll okay. go. Well, I will activate the scene as you guys head back up the switchback trail. And you guys are back outside the mines. I can't see. Um. Light. Thank you. I rush in. Now uh, let's okay. be a little bit careful because who knows? Maybe the troglodytes do not learn their lessons. Yeah, I, I'm like poking the walls with uh, the spear I'm using. Wait, yeah. Redfern, where are you going? <clears throat> Getting the sun quickly so we can get this over with. No, we, we, we're going the other way. Remember. No, there wasn't the, anything left in the other way. It wasn't, there's nothing that other way. The, the only place to go was up here. No, no, there was another pathway. Yeah, I remember like a tunnel going deeper into the ground. Yeah. I thought that went to the Hollow World. But isn't that where we're going? Oh, um, no, I thought we were going to the mines. Well, I mean, I will say that this dog statue is pretty suggestive. Mm -hmm. Also, Perhaps. the fact that there's structures up here makes me think there's more structures up here. Right, well, well, of course, there's more structures. It leads to the also, mines. There, also, there, there's there's mines up here, so that that kind of makes you think there's mines up here. Okay, well, don't run off. You are not feeling well. Well, let's okay. be careful a little bit. So, everyone, uh, you pass under this bridge. There was a bridge here that you were running underneath. Oh, it's under. Okay, makes mm -hmm. sense. And uh, as you guys come uh, closer and closer to the north, uh, you see that there is a giant cavern. Wait, Redfern. Redfern, wait. Let's let Marcy's chickens go first. Okay. Mar Redfern will kind of give an annoyed sigh, but let the chickens go first. Are they following me? Marcy, please stop talking so loudly. It hurts my ears. 
Don't tell me the mod doesn't work. Uh, follow me? Yeah, I have them set to follow. They didn't follow me. I have them set to follow Redfern now. Yeah, they're not they're moving. Be working. They seem to be working. All right, let's just say they're in front of Redfern for convenience sake. They clearly don't want to move. Let me see. Follow me. Controls. Control be careful. M. So uh, I can explain what you guys kind of see as you get to here. You know, I just considered something. Wolves tend to uh, hunt using pack tactics, and well, these are demonic dogs. I can't imagine the, they're too far off in that regard, so maybe it would be best to fight them in choke points so we don't have to deal with too many at a time. Yeah, and then I can block everything while raging. So, this stonework tunnel ends at the precipice of a huge rift in the earth. The ceiling is only 20 feet above you, but the rift drops away into a fathomless black depth. Veins of ore can be seen in the sides of the shaft. Ancient mining equipment lines the walls, but the wooden platforms and walkways are rotten and unusable. There are chains attached to the ceiling of the shaft in a pulley system that used to lift ore from the depths. Most of the chains are rusted, and many have broken. The area around you has been scored by gouges in the stone, as if some giant claw once reached out of the pit. Oh, it looks like something big came through here. Uh, what is this about? I want to well, check we this out. We were told that there was a huge Cerberus, so might be that thing's doing i mean that, that's or, a big dog yeah how big are we talking orpheus the gouges in the stone are at least 1.5 to 2 feet apart marceline oh, so we're talking like wait, what's that over there oh wait wait i go first okay so marceline you see something very very Wait, scary. For Redfern. Oh, that's a dead Cerberus. Uh, let me explain to you guys what you see. It's that's a hyena. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the corpse. Sorry. I see. Uh, there is a massive hall supported by pillars, many of which have been broken. The corpse of a gargantuan, three-headed dog, lay splayed in the center. There are several hounds surrounding it, chewing its body. You see that they are preoccupied with their meal. Redford, get back here. Thank you. Looks like someone killed the Cerberus. Maybe it was the Troglodyte King. Can we tell how fresh the corpse is from here? Uh, it looks pretty well chewed from this current position. Well, yes, but, like, it, does it rot? Can we, like, smell it from here? Oh, 100%. You can smell it from here. Uh, it is so We can definitely assume it's been dead for a couple of days. At least, if not longer. Maybe I can scare dogs away, and we can investigate further. Marceline taps her chin. Say, Kyra, do you know anything about those hounds? She looks to you and she says, I, is this a bad time to tell you guys? I'm, I'm actually scared of dogs. Oh, you don't say. Marceline, don't get any ideas. No, I, I never told you guys, but in the Shadowfell, I used to have a pet dog, Shadow Mastiff. I named oh. him Cirrus. Very nice. Um... It's actually how I got these bite marks on my tail here. I was, well, frankly, I was starting to go mad from the loneliness, and I had the bright idea to jump a pack and steal a puppy. Wow. I succeeded, Marce, but uh, Marce, I almost Marce, lost Marce, my I tail. I need to talk about this another time. Marce, there's an irritable notice in Red Fern's voice. Marcin, I need to talk about this another time. Focus on the mission. 
There's a dog right there. I'm gonna go sca- I'm gonna scare them away. Okay. Mm, sure, go for it. I'm going to like bang real hard on this on this weird shield and scare them away. Here I go. I'm, gonna I'm right trying here. to get knocked into the pit. I'm gonna go like right here, and I'm gonna start like banging on the uh, shield and trying to scare these guys away. Uh, as you start banging on the shield, the dogs look up from their meal and they begin to lick at their at their maw uh, as they do so. They begin to make a very strange sound. I will play that sound for you guys. Hyenas. (laughs) They they actually are hyenas. As they begin making this sound, they start to come closer towards you, Angus. And they're going to roll into initiative because they are hungry. Oh, I Uh, wasn't able to scare them. (laughs) Uh, they are immune to the fear effect. Oh, well, good to know. God damn. As monstrosities from the pits of hell, they do not care about being scared. (laughs) Uh, I'm assuming we're rolling initiative? Yes, so we can roll in and we'll see kind of where we're landing here. Oh. Actually, you did say you want to enter on like uh, 11.30, right? Yes. Oh, for I'm fuck's sake. Time. Yep, so uh, uh, everyone can roll in so we can see where we're at and see who wins initiative here. I'm not sure I rolled in by roll to double twice. Dog. So it looks like, okay. So uh, Marceline is going to start us off next time. And I'll just go ahead and begin. That way we get a a nice little circle around Marceline. Perfect. And I'm going to flush the chat. Excellent. And take us back to here. Guys, that was excellent. Uh, Thank you for indulging me in uh, that crazy battle against the Troglodyte (laughs) King. I hope you guys had fun. Yeah. I did. Thanks for the session. Yeah, that was sorry fun. Was, sorry if I was a bit irritable towards the end of the session. I just... Yeah. You got hey, It's sick. in character. <laughs> yeah, I know. It makes I didn't know. I didn't know if I was being too harsh. Sorry, Marcin, if I was being too harsh with that stuff. I didn't know if I was being a bit harsh in character. Not really. I was like... Okay, I just want to check. I didn't know if I was being like... I, I,